When you first stepped up to the plate here at Fenway, the fans cheering for you, what was running through your mind? Uh, I don't know, maybe I could have been here sometime, <laughs> but uh, it, uh, it's a really is a thrill here. I mean, it's just great. The place is awesome. All right, congratulations to the guy who shares the birthday with his fellow 1994 MVP, Frank Thomas. Who's an hour older? I, you know, I have no idea. He's bigger. I know that. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Congratulations. Good luck in the second round, hopefully. Chris, let's go back upstairs. You talk about incoming. They brought their miss on Lansdowne Street. McGuire's still to come. Junior Griffey's still to come. Sosa's still to come. We'll be back to Fenway. Just warming up here at our Century 21 Home Run Derby, and we appreciate the help from our friends of the Goodyear Blimp, providing our shots from above the Limp Stars and Stripes based in Pompano Beach, Florida. Jim Maloney from Vienna, Virginia, is at the controls tonight. Well, maybe one of the longest, if not the longest, home run ever hit Fenway Park, August 16, 1940. There's the newspaper headlines of Double X, Jimmy Fox, one of the great home run hitters of all time, he hit a first of two home runs over the left field wall, over everything, landed on the railroad tracks. At least 490 if it went down the line. If it didn't go straight down the line, more than 500, 505 range. There's no confirmation, but that was the paper the next day, and he said they had hit several out of the tracks. And you know who else should do that? A guy with equal power, better power than maybe anyone. A man who maybe this year will become the 16th ever to hit 500 home runs, 70 last year, Mark McGuire. Yeah, I'm do it. <laughs> On the railroad tracks, you think McGuire can hit it there? Oh! There it goes! Back, back, back! Shoot, shoot! Can I change my pick? <laughs> oh! Lars McGuire has returned to Fenway Park. We may run out of ball. <laughs> wow. I just didn't want to take the obvious pick, you know. Does it stay fair? Give it the fist wave. Where's Punch when you need him? He's down there. That is going to kill somebody in those boxes. <laughs> <I think>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, McGuire last year only hit four in the first round of Coors Field and did not uh, make it to the next round. Tim Flannery, one of the good guys, pitching the third base coach of the Padres. One of the good guys in the game. Junior looking on, Sosa looking on. Uh oh. First home out of the group. 436 feet. Mark McGuire. For the last year, it, well, the you know what's amazing? McGuire here we show that he's almost at 500. He's not two thirds of the way. And a guy hit 180 the last three years, Joe. Not even two thirds to Hank Aaron. There it goes. That makes Maybe he's three fourths. Over the light tower. Oh, he hit the tower. That was the bomb. He needs two more. Four hundred seventy feet. The last one. Just have enough juice to find the net. That'll look like it. Three outs left. Just three homers for McGuire. The most impressive three. Make it four. Back, 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 back. Gone. Mike, you're behind the plate when he's up there. I mean, what do you think when he hits a bomb like that? It's just indescribable. A home run off the top of the line. The sound, number one, is the most impressive thing. You can see it has his son Matt's name on his yeah. hat. 
Matt became famous last year along with his dad. <laughs> And just think he does this every day in batting practice. Uh, That's the show he puts on. He's made batting practice an event. Yeah. <laughs> A little higher, but just as handsome. What a mop. Six home runs. Look at that out there. That's awesome. <laughs> He's a leader. Hello, Boston. Yikes. Well, that's mentioned that he'll be in the second round. He's got really hot. Taking pitches now, he's really hot, feeling good. <laughs> this one's headed to the flag pole. <laughs> the flag. Home run number eight. <laughs> and I tell you what, we weren't that far from a million bucks. Well, I tell you one thing, the, the pressure's starting to build on Sammy Sosa here too. <laughs> he's got to follow this. McGuire has 18 lifetime home runs in Fenway. For Road Park, he's only hit more in Tiger Stadium. Ah, the guy only has warning track power. What's the well, matter with him? Well, What's wrong with him? Get in the weight room, man. He's getting small. <laughs> Hello, New Hampshire! Just in the harbor. <laughs> I think I hit old Ironside, didn't it? Man. Wow. Took his bat. A little high jinx down there. Hey, Pedro sticking up for his Pedro country. Pedro take the bat. He's sticking hey, up for his country. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to help the Dominican Republic. <laughs> hey, Pedro has wrapped himself up in rope this year, and you know. He enjoys but himself, I thought, and every player is loving this. But I tell you what, Pedro Martinez is the only one I know equipped to handle this power from the yeah, National no League. Kidding. He's the only pitcher I know. You can take the bat out of your hands yeah. in more ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year... <laughs> <laughs> this one could be all the way to me! Man, oh man. Looks like golf ball. Looks like we're at yeah. the driving range. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> sends this one back, 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 back. God! Listen to that sound, man. It sounds like a hammer, like a sledgehammer. <laughs> he saw, he actually making up for last year in Coors Field when he didn't make the second round. I mean, he's on fire. <clears throat> Look at the height of that. They're over the light towers. I think they got to build a wall maybe 80 feet <laughs> high. You think Tim Flannery has the job just in case Dave McKay gets a sore arm with the Cardinals? Get him off the plate. <laughs> <laughs> It's all the way to Marblehead. In a single round, we've never seen 13 home runs before. But then again, we've never seen 70 either. Well, this is what they all came to see. It really is. If he doesn't hit another one, they saw what they came to see. All his teammates are checking the bat, but we don't need to. Superman is with Stuart Scott. Stu? Oh, I don't know what to talk about. 
How's your golf game? No. <laughs> 13 home runs up here, so. <laughs> you know, last year I didn't do so well in the home run contest, so uh, I got a lot of room to make up, so uh, I think I can advance the second round. <laughs> you hit four in the first round last year. Was that weighing heavily on you as you stepped up to the plate today? No, you know, uh, in these contests, all, it's, it's all up to the pitcher. He throws strikes, and Tim got me in a good groove. He's throwing strikes, and, you know, I get a good swing going, and uh, I think I broke my bat halfway through, so I finished up with it, so. Well, you uh, dotted the record books with the 70 Jacks last year. 13 home runs in one round. A new <laughs> home run hitting contest record. Another one to put in your resume. Congratulations, Thank you very Boston. Much. Thank you, Boston. Good luck in the second round. Chris, back up to you. All right, Stu. Well, which, which replay would you guys like to see? Do you have a spare 10 minutes? Well, they will all look very similar. I mean, this is Mark McGuire. This one is probably the way that he normally hits them, high and deep. I mean, he hits a lot of high fly balls that never come down. You see a lot of other hitters drive the ball. I mean, he gets under it. And look at look at this. Look how high this ball is. I mean, that's that's a big fly. That was his third one into the lights. His number seven, Joe, the longest one. Well, that one he stayed there a little longer. Didn't quite get under it as much, and he just drove it to left center field. That was 486. Look at this. Look at this beautiful swing. Look how quiet he is. I mean, his body is quiet. His Mike was saying earlier, you have to stay relaxed. And there's Sammy Sosa. No, it was McGuire that raised the roof. He had four homers, 470 or more. <laughs> Look at Matty Williams. I would guess if you were pitching, you know, that shows it. As a wink at what, Tim Flannery? Well, we've seen fire. Will we see rain? Mark McGuire has rained 13 home runs. We'll be back in a moment. 488 feet, and we will see him in round number two. Yes. Well, one of the most famous games ever. Baseball history is in this park. Game 7, 1975 World Series. Reds 3, Red Sox 3. It was the top of the ninth inning. Two out, and Joe Morgan was at the plate. As we still look at the fans from outside, they're waiting for Joe to get to the plate. <laughs> I didn't take that long. Well, Joe, did you get up there? <laughs> get the batting glove. Put the pine tar on the bat and get up. Well, that was a great setup for a story, wasn't it? We're going to try that again sometime. Oh, my God. That was a longer windup than Louis T. Well, talk about following a... Following a, a tough act, yeah. Sean Green yeah. just has to forget about it, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, that's why I asked if Griffey was next, because that would be very difficult for Griffey to do. You know, because he's the favorite, one of the favorites. It's tough for him. Sean Green can kind of relax. This is his first one. Not a lot of pressure really on him. Well, As you said, Jay, he's just got to have some fun. Right. Just enjoy it. I mean, it's almost impossible, obviously, to top McGuire. So, I mean, Sean's got some great power, though. Left-handed hitter, likes the ball down and in. Huskies don't like the ball down and in, do they? <laughs> <laughs> You're one of the few righties that can help. Sean Green, the Sean Green, you say, well, geez, what's he doing? He's third in the American League in home runs at 25. 7th in RBI is at 70, 10th in average at 327. He this year is uh, certainly one of the best kept secrets. First round pick of the Jays in 91. Last year came into his own with a 35 home run season. Also 35 stolen bases last year. So yeah, 30-30 man. Play good defense. Ow. And he can hit a long ball to right. I, I tell you something, his, the ball sounds like McGuire's when it comes off his bat. I mean, his ball, it sounds, he's got a loud sound to his bat. Kind of goes the other way, and that's not going to quite make it. Pitching to him is a high school teammate in Southern California. Pitches some for the Angels in batting practice. The this is nice. Ben Strzok. Right so they go back to high school. These guys have been friends a long time, and it's a nice way to reward your friend as long as you can lay it in there. But when you see a left-handed hitter hit the fly ball to left field like he's done a couple of times, tells you he's really dropping his back shoulder trying to get to it, and that's what's happening. Oh, shit. 
Sean Green, a little athletic blood. His dad played basketball, backed up basketball for Ray Meyer at the ball. He's halfway through his major at Stanford in psychology. Maybe a little psychology here to follow that act of McGuire. I mean, that's 380 out there for a left handed hitter. Yeah. That is a long way. Long way, so, straight away. And a straight away right field, yeah. not right center, straight away. That's where the pally alleys are if you're if you're a left-handed hitter. Sammy Sosa coming up next. Say the National Good League is about to put this thing away, haven't they? Although Sean Green, that's a post to straightaway center field. I watched him take batting practice in the Sky Dome, and he almost hit the scoreboard in center field in batting practice a couple of times. Oh, that was 410, 420 up there. He may actually have more power straight away than he does, you know, pulling yeah. the ball. Yeah, gap power, gap yeah. to gap. Good sound off the bat. Oh, it does. Huh? Pair of home runs for Sean Green. Yeah, your first all-star game under uh, your tight generally, aren't you? Well, Mike would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> well, you see here, he just gets his hands out in front. You watch his shoulders here he keeps them pretty level there and that's why he's driving the ball to right field a couple of times he dropped his back shoulder and it made him bat late and he hit a fly ball to left field there's a beautiful swing right there great bat speed yeah and great results right there it's a home run which directly strikes the theater so just a pair for sean green There'll be other ones of these, but I'll tell you what, it's on McGuire's show. What can Sammy do? <laughs> you know, we'll be in the 21st century. It's kind of like Sergio Mendes in Brazil 66, and they became Brazil 77. You kind of roll with the, you roll with it. Proceeds from tonight's event benefit Major League Baseball charities. Check for a million seven hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, which represents net receipts from tonight's event. Marv Dunn will mark the opening. New field, partly financed by it. Major League Baseball charity benefiting big time from this, and now McGuire will watch as Sammy Sosa hits. Well, they watched each other closely last year, did they not? I mean, Mike, as a player, I mean, Sammy now for the second time has 32 or more at the All-Star break. Only nine times has that happened at an All-Star break. Now, we should say when Babe was hitting his 60, they didn't have All-Star games. So from 33 on, only nine times, 32 or more, Sammy has done it twice. The most, by the way, McGuire last year was 37. Reggie Jackson with 37. Young Reggie with the Oakland A's, 69. Doesn't guarantee a big Reggie only didn't even hit 50 that year, and he had 37 at the break. It doesn't guarantee, but it certainly is yeah. a nice, nice number to have at the break. It didn't bother break. those two guys at all. <laughs> I think there's a lot of pressure on Sosa now and Griffey. If I was one of the big guys, the big three, I'd rather go first as McGuire did. Puts a lot of pressure on Back, is it fair? Gets the signal. <laughs> that, ball, there. that was a rope. That was a rope right there. But Sammy. Sammy's up there hacking right away as yeah. he does, and he maybe hasn't gotten settled. Remember when McGuire came up and even told Flannery, I'm taking the first pitch? You remember that? Well, this is interesting because he has a left handed pitcher out yeah. there. Jeff Petland, who is a yeah. Cubs batting coach. Yeah, but most right-handed hitters prefer to hit against right-handed pitchers in a contest like this. First of all, the ball from the left hand is tailed away from you a little bit. This is the first time I think I've ever seen this by choice, anyway. That one will not have the height. Oh, man. That was loud. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, lefties have live arms. And yeah, the, the ball, ball cuts, the ball yeah. sinks, and... Uh, I don't know why you would want a left hand unless he did, even had to have had a choice. Yeah. This is sky ball. Is it fair? That's a foul ball. You know, Sammy still said his first home run ever in Fenway Park. Late call up 89 Chicago White Sox. It's off the rocket man. Hey, I, I'm sorry. Was it? Briefly came up with Texas. 
Yeah, he was originally with Texas. He, he ended up getting traded, I guess, for Harold Bain. Well, that was the big trade involving Alvarez and Baines and Fletcher. That's one of the big deals. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm glad it's all Sammy. <laughs> Boy, last year was McGuire that struggled. That was a quick exit for Sammy. Well, I tell you, there was a lot of pressure to have to follow what McGuire's done. Well, let's get to the word from Stuart Scott with Sammy. Stu? All right, Sammy. One home run. Did you feel the pressure after what your buddy Mark McGuire did, 13? Not really. This is not pressure here. This is fun. And I think that, uh, you know, my wife's put in the show and I'm so happy for her. I saw you during Mark's run. You're over there, like, giving him huge high fives. Uh, that kind of excitement is something that you bring to this game. And like you said, it doesn't matter. Are you just happy to be here? Definitely. I'm happy to be here. Remember something here. They don't count. And that's something that, uh, for me, you know, I just got to keep doing it. And I'm uh, so happy for Mark. I'm so happy for myself to be here and enjoy everything. All right. Those 32 homers count. You still lead the league. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. All right, man. Chris, let's go back upstairs to you. All right, Stu. Thank you very much. Well, Sammy couldn't deliver, but maybe tomorrow night. Paul Jr. has to do is hit 20 homers in the American League and pull him with die. We'll be back in February. Come on, guys. That's the league affiliation. And he is almost at the 400 spot. He's already 38th all-time, tied with Hall of Famer Orlando Cepeda. Hopefully one time soon, Joe, Hall of Famer Tony Perez. Last year won the home run derby in Coors Field. And here's the way it works. Four players advance to the second round. In a tie, we go to the home run total that you have in the majors here at the All-Star break. Junior Grippy is 29. And so all he needs to do is hit two and he would win a tie for fourth place with Larry Walker, B.J. Sirhoff, and Sean Green. He has more homers than all of them. So he might just try to get the two and save it. He's hurt a little bit, Joe. Do you think that's good, bad? You mean if he if he gets two and says, let me save it? No, I, I don't think he, I think he'll, if he gets his two right away, I still think he'll take about five outs. He doesn't want to swing too much, but I don't think he, I think he wants to try to find a groove. Griffey needs 20 homers to tie it for the American League and 21 to win. Sends it deep to center and well, that hits What's the ball. ball. The next ball, ball is correct. That was Andy not high Moore. enough. <laughs> they want to say anything touched by a fan is a homer. Well, fans will touch this one. Back, 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 back. Good Go ball. Ball. Over the bullpen. I mean, he has such a beautiful swing. McGuire's more in muscle. I mean, he's just raw power. Griffey has just a magnificent swing. It's real fluid, real yeah, quick. Exactly. Very quick. That's what this yeah. It's an interesting strategy. I mean, uh, trying to catch McGuire in this round, uh, he could be, probably get unglued real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's why I say I think he'll. Well, he's going like to. He's going to get five of the last six years. So Sean Green's on the bubble, I guess. Well, everybody's on the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> because if he hits one more, it doesn't matter. Sean Green would, Four if Griffey's retired here with one, would go. Griffey would not. Well, he's running out of time, too. Yeah. Pressure's starting to build here. Over under 430 feet. I figured this was a foregone conclusion. Right. Sosa hit one. Well, if you see Griffey taking a little time, I think that's something Sosa should have done. On, folks. That will not have enough. Hey, wait a minute. He's down to two outs. He's down to one He's out. down to one out. Well, he came through at the final game of the Kingdom. Three run, home run, left, great catch. Can he come run. through here to advance to the second round? <laughs> you know, talk about the player position. Second round. No That's problem. Amazing. He's a 425 footer. Well, he makes it. You know, and, 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 and he's such a good hitter that, you know, next round he may hit 10 or so. But now he's going to just practice going well, the opposite yeah. way, huh? Oh, I should have been doing this all along. What did I tell you, Joe? Yeah, man. It's <laughs>